grab all these and run off. <laughs> no, I'll try to run from them. <laughs> Well, you got a good field goal kicker. Mm -hmm. We knew that. We don't have to need one until we get till we get some things fixed up. Until we get healthy again. That's uh, that's, that's about what I expected today. But I actually scored more than I thought we would. <laughs> but uh, that's that's it. We're we're too banged up up front. Uh, it's hard to tell either way. I mean, it, it, it's hard to tell on offense. It's hard to tell on defense. It's really uh, a little misleading. But the kids played hard. That's what I was happy about. They played hard. Made a few plays here and there. And got through it. Pretty much unscathed and. Get ready to get better to fall. Get everybody healthy and get them back. What did you, you see out of the, the C Ford and, uh, and Clint? I'll wait and look at the film. Uh, seeing the present, I thought Clint had good presence on the field. I thought he moved around, created some plays with his feet, made some nice throws. Uh, I thought Clint did a nice job. Will had a throw or two, but didn't seem to, he didn't have as many chances. But uh, uh, we'll, we'll have to evaluate the film. But I would. From the, from the outside, I didn't think Will did anything bad, but I thought Clinton did some good things. I thought Clinton did some really good things. Do you feel like you get the sense that EJ might have had a better day if, it went, if, if he was not uh, down by contact every time oh, he was you can't, you can't. Until you run him and, and the way we are up front and trying to, uh, what we were playing, that's very, that's not the way he's played all spring. That's kind of, made a couple of throws today that I wish he wouldn't have made. He's out of rhythm, couldn't get in the rhythm, but uh, that's kind of what I, I wasn't surprised that that kind of happened today a little bit, to be honest with you. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me much. Gregory uh, kind of picked up where he left off. Yeah, he did, but he also got lazy a couple of times. He got beat on the back. He got bet them eyes trained him a couple of times on some distant things. Where he drifted and left 15 on the backside one time, too. But he made a big play. That's the thing. Greg makes big plays. And uh, he continues to be disciplined, but he had a good, solid day. How was your running game on this day at all spring? Not very good. But we haven't had any linemen. I mean, we've been so beat up up front, and we're very good. we got some good defensive linemen up front, and we're not healthy enough in the, in the offensive line to be consistent in the running game. But for what we had and where those kids were in the development of it, I wasn't displeased. I, I thought we did some good things throughout the spring at times. I thought Devontae Freeman showed a couple good things today. Uh, 38 did. We got banged, got banged up there once and uh, got out of there. But 33 had a runner. 34 had a couple in the real nice runs. Greg Dunn was your leading receiver. You see him so come around. Uh, average. Uh, he made a couple plays, but he disappointed me on a couple things there on some routes too. But uh, he, he's having a solid. He's got a long ways to go though. He's still got some work to do. How do you feel about playing number six? Who? Uh, Aaron Crew. Uh, I, I, I couldn't hear what you said. Uh, solid. He, he nicked an ankle up there late in the game, so we took him out of center and moved him over to guard. Uh, it was hard to tell. I'll have to wait and see the film in there because I was trying to watch the skill guys a little bit. Uh, a couple of blocks he made, but it, it's hard to tell. I have to wait and see the film where he was. Super, I know during, during the spring you had to plug Jacob Stanley in a lot of different spots and everything uh, out of necessity, but when everybody's <coughs> healthy, do you still see a role for him next year? And it may be. But uh, hopefully, you know, he, he bangs around. He's a tough guy. He's there every day, and that's, that's the thing he does. We'll have to wait and see how the fall goes. But he, he was he's what allowed us to practice this spring and do the things we had to do. He played center, he played guard, and he was hurt the whole spring. His knee was hurt. From about practice three on, probably in each, probably the heart, most guys wouldn't have practiced on it. He went out there and practiced every day and showed a total team commitment, and he's one tough son again. I'm glad we got him on our team. Uh, Bjorn won in the defensive award for the spring. How about the spring he had? Just very dominating as far as hard to block, strong in the run game, developing pass rush games. And then we, our, our ends are, we, we got four pretty good ends now. I mean, he, he can rush, he's strong, he's, he, he's physical. He, he's really developing into a good football player. And uh, some things he's doing. I mean, he really is. But you know, we're pleased with the other guys too. But Bjorn, from day one, was very consistent and uh, playing really good football. A couple guys who got hurt for you in the spring: Demonte McCaster and Josh Gary's. What's their status? On Gary's is out. Gary's a little knee. Gary's is a knee, and Demonte will be fine. He just got nicked up. He'll be good. If he if he had to play in another couple of days, he'd, he'd play probably. He'd probably play. Can the running backs kind of benefit from situations like this where maybe the holes aren't as big as maybe they hope they, they will be? It's big, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know. If you'll stay disciplined. Sometimes you get to see a guy maybe who, who, who's got the build, most ability to ad-lib and create some things on their own. Because sometimes a running back it's good to do that. Uh, but other times you got to be careful. You do it too much that you allow bad habits. You know what I'm saying? So you got to stay disciplined. It's, it's hard to do that when, when you're banged up up front. And, and one of the reasons, I mean, we're not only banged up, but we're pretty good on defense up front, too. we got some pretty good guys over there. So, But it was good to see them. And, and like I say, it, when you do start getting holes, you'll, it'll, look like, it'll look like a highway in there. Did you, did you think about doing anything to kind of 
coming down the defense to make, to no. make it more. No, we didn't do anything. Just let them play. We played, we played base on both sides. We were, we were very vanilla on both sides of what we did. We just played our base goes and runs and defenses. Had a, not many blitzes, just a couple little blitzes. So, But they, they're, they're coverage-wise and on both sides. That's that's what the spring game was about. It's about execution, letting everybody play. And when you're playing so many guys that are down the line, guys, you start getting too fancy. They can't execute. So you just wanted to try to create as much execution as you could. Especially when you're as beat up as we are. I know overall. EJ. But everybody, everybody's beat up in spring. I know overall EJ didn't, you know, execute quite right where he wanted to, but he talked about that, that last uh, 30 seconds or so. Hey, again, he finds a way to win, and he could have kicked the field goal to win it there. We were just trying to see if we could get it in the end zone. Uh, but he always seems a way to have a knack at the end of the game. And, and to me, that's what great players do. They can play bad all day. I, I remember those great quarterbacks that you always used to say they could be have an off day, off day, but they get the ball at the end of the game and find a way to make a play. And he always seems to do that. So I would, I would, from that standpoint, I probably got as much from EJ not having a great day and being able to come back and do that again as I did if he went out there and blistered it up. And because we don't wins now don't mean anything. If you play great now, it doesn't mean anything. I got as much out of that watching him do that as I did if he went 10 for 10 or 15 for 15. I'm very pleased with that. Could you talk about the weekend overall, the events you guys had? To play? Well, I think it was great. We had a great turnout, had good fan support. Uh, a lot of old players back, a lot of old players back. Current players, guys that, that you know, that haven't seen back in years. And just to show the support for them and have them back. And they got to have a reunion, get around everybody. It, it was just, I think it's a great, it was a great atmosphere. And, and uh, it was a pleasure to be around. I, I felt very comfortable with it. Well, I don't know. The interesting thing, Jenkins really never got healthy to the end. Probably the, as crazy as it sounded, as good as Brandon was, the other ends, like I say, Bjorn gets MVP, Dan Hicks plays his tail off, and then, uh, you know, Tank Carradine's coming on being a good player. So that tells you the depth we have there. But Brandon can be a great player. He, he really can. He's gotten bigger, stronger. He never really got fully healthy till about the last week, and it's hard. He's still not in full game mode because of his shoulder. So, But hopefully he'll get stronger and have a great sprint. I mean, a great fall. Talvin Smith seemed like he was flying around making plays. Always one does. Interception. Always does. Makes tackles, makes plays. He's instinctive. You know, he, he just reads the ball. You know what I mean? And, and just, like I say, linebackers to me are easy to evaluate. They're either at the bottom of the pile or standing around the pile. You want the ones <laughs> in the bottom, not the ones standing around. <laughs> or the one with the ball. <laughs> exactly.